Hello. There have always been stand-up comedians. This is the quickest game in the world. Right. Hello, John got a new mouth. And then there's always been natural selection. The worst man has to be what you would call a co The history of alternative comedy is laid bare with Angus Deaton. Hey, you kids. It'd be cool. A history that will leave you in stitches starting Sunday the 10th of January on BBC Two. What? <laughs> Hello, fast track, can I help you? Do you have an extension number for her, please? Well, no, then I can't. <laughs> Kathy Burke. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> and James Dreyfus in Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. Next Friday at 9 on BBC Two. Only one image has been reproduced more times than the Mona Lisa. BBC Two marks the 40th anniversary of the Cuban Revolution. Cuban night starts at 5 past 8 tomorrow. Pop in the 80s, a new series which lifts the lid, starting with the truth behind the rise and fall of Boy George and Culture Club. Young Guns is in half an hour. And here's something else that's new for BBC Two. The excellent news is that Reeves and Mortimer are back. In a house in Beverly Hills, you know what I mean I'm gonna be a great big movie star You are talking out your ass, son You can't appeal to anyone You sit around in your grubby little pants With your packet of biscuits and a pen in your hand when your hand isn't down your grubby little pants <laughs> You will see Nobody can stop me My name is going down in history You write all your letters to MGM On your exercise book with your bookie's pen No one in Hollywood will be receiving them And nicked all your letters from your Scooby-Doo bag And then buried them under a pile of farmyard shine <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen Good evening, ladies and gentlemen You are so welcome You are so welcome to our life Hi, Lenny. Vic, you know that song? I've got to ask you straight away. You know that song you said you'd buried me letters somewhere? Yeah. You weren't telling the truth, were you? No, of course I wasn't. No. That was just for the song. No, I, I just wanted to was, I've got them all here. <laughs> oh, so you have stolen them? Of course I did. No, thank you. They're very interesting. I'll read one oh, out. Oh, don't read it out, Vic. Of course I will. <laughs> Dear MGM movie mogul, <laughs> I want to be a big star. I am a 25-year-old hunk and have seen the following movies. One, Indiana Jones, two, Pickwick Papers. <laughs> I have the following skills. One, Rock Hard Fighter and two, Monkey Trainer. <laughs> P.S. Although I'm not bent, I am willing to do stuff to get to the top. <laughs> and look at, look at your publicity photograph you're sending. Yeah, well, I was, 
Look at you, you look half dead with biscuits around your mouth. Well, I've just been eating biscuits, yeah. Who's going to be interested in that? Well, look at the one. Send you that. Who's going to be interested in that? Give me them letters back. <laughs> What's that? It's a gun. Where'd you get that from? Never you mind. Is that loaded? Yeah. <laughs> Bob, think about what you do. Think about the consequences. Think about it, what it'll do to your family. No, no, I've not. Bob, think about all the children who rely on you for biscuits. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Bob, think about Doodlebug, your little puppy. Stop it! <laughs> no, Bob, no. Bob! Give me them letters back. Give me that here. <laughs> Don't point loaded guns at people. They might just go. Well, it's 7.30, which is a fun time in the morning. It's rather an icy day, and we've been away for two hours now because we were thrown out of our lodgings last night, well, early this morning, due to Derek's rather erratic and excitable behaviour. But you were excited for a reason, weren't you, Derek? A good reason. It's my birthday day. It's Derek's 50th fun birthday, and we've come here to the seaside to have a fun day out with our trolley full of snouts and cakes, and we're going to have a lot of fun, aren't we, Derek? With you, Tom, it's always fun. How much money have you got, Derek? I've saved up one pound. One pound. We can have a lot of fun with that, guy. One pound. What could we do with a pound, Derek? I'd like to spend it on the machine. Oh, well, what a good idea. Why don't we start with this, the cheeky chicken? Look at that. Isn't that fun? It really is a lot of fun, that, isn't it? It's yellow, it's got jewellery. I wonder what makes it so cheeky, Tom. Do you know, I don't know if we'll ever find out. Perhaps it uses coarse language, it passes by. That'd be fun, <laughs> won't it? That would be fun. You know, Tom, I'm going to give it a go. Put your 50p in. We could be in for the treat of a lifetime. Look at that. <laughs> it started to revolve. Do you know, I've never seen anything more oh, amusing. Cheeky than that. chick. That really is a lot of fun, isn't it? It's made an egg, John. 360 degrees, which is a really fun amount of degrees. It's laid in bed. Wow, look at that, Derek. Wow. Things get better and better. Have a look inside it. Just a look. What is it? A gift from the cheeky chick. <laughs> a lens of Derek. plastic string. No, Derek. Open it up. <laughs> it's a rainer. Can you believe that? Oh. What a lot Good. of fun we're having. <laughs> about this machine? Oh, Derek, doesn't that look like a lot of fun? We can have so much fun looking at that monkey dance. Silver award. I know, that's already made my heart bleed. Put 50p in there, let's see what it does. OK. Here goes nothing, Tom. I was walking through the jungle just the other night. Did you find that fun? Tom? It wasn't a lot of fun, was it, Derek? And it was a bit brief. Tell you what, Derek, I'll lighten things up for you on your special day. Careful, Tom. Derek. <laughs> right, well, happy birthday to you as well, Derek. Come on, let's go. Potato, orange, potato. Potato, orange, potato. Have you got it? No, I've not got it. Show me Just me. think about it. Just get the system right. Potato, orange, potato. OK. Potato, orange, orange. <laughs> How do you expect a passy driving test? <laughs> can I ask uh, you for a bit of advice? Of course you can, Bob. Why else am I here? I've got a girlfriend. Well, I've met a girl. I've been out with her once. I've asked her to come round. For, I know, I've asked her to come round for dinner. Yeah. And I don't really know what to do when she comes round. What to talk? What to say to her? But yeah. Like, how the night's going to run? Of course, I can assist you there. Yeah. Now, when she comes round to your flat, yeah. 
put a nice bit of music this on. This is very kind of you. No, it's, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Put a bit of mood music. Not moon music. Right. As I did one day, yeah. and it led to some terrible discrepancies. <laughs> mood music. Mood music. You invite right. her and put a bit of mood music. I'll put some on. I'll tell you what, we'll go through it. You be the girl. All right. And I'll put the mood music. I'll right, just put okay. it on now for you. Nice. You're the girl, right? Just right yeah. Hi, come in. Hi. Take your coat off. That's too small. <laughs> what sort of sax oh, coat is that? Oh, Hi. Hi. Take your coat off. Ooh, that's lovely. How much did that cost? 20, 20 pounds. Yeah, that's yeah. really nice. Really nice. You look very pretty tonight. You look and you smell great. Come in anyway. Thanks. Champagne. Cigarette. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nice. Yeah. Come in. Would you like? Gravy with your chicken? <laughs> or would you just like it with the cabbage? Uh, just the gravy, thanks. That's fine. And move as well, move. Yeah, yeah keep the moving, okay. <laughs> Champagne? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like, hey, yeah. could I have a look in the kitchen? What's well, I should have a look What's in the that kitchen. There? Oh, that's, um, that's a tea towel with uh, pictures of the North Yorkshire coast on them. It's nice. <laughs> You can have it if you want. I've Hello. looked at it enough. I don't really want to look at it That's anymore. That's very kind. Yeah. Ooh. Can you smell that chicken? Yeah, and the gravy. Yeah, it just it sounds like ah. champagne. Cigarette. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> hey, this really works, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. It's fantastic, the, the chicken, the gravy. <laughs> I, you know, I wouldn't mind coming around with your flat for dinner. Well, I think you're losing the plot a bit. No, no, no right. I, <laughs> that, that's, what you, that's the way you treat the lady. Right, that's, that's nice. she comes in. That's fine. Here she is. What? Here's Lorraine here. Go on, let's try it. Give I'll us put some the music, music on. Go on, give us the music. Yeah. What am I going to say? Peter, I've got some cards here. I've written all everything thanks. you need to say right. on there. Go on, go on. Cheers, thanks, Vic. Oh. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Hi. It's nice Hi, to see nice you again. To see you. It's really nice. Thanks, to I didn't you. expect you to be here tonight. Oh. <laughs> Just got this music on. It's nice, isn't right. it? It's, it's yeah. mood, mood, mood music. Mood it's music. Nice, mood. Yeah. My God, you got a big nose. <laughs> You're like a, a pelican, not because of your big nose, you just smell of fish. <laughs> um, sorry I'm a bit late, Lorraine. I was at the VD clinic. <laughs> they confirmed I had pox. <laughs> uh, Lorraine, uh, do you want a dessert spoon to pick your nose with? Because <laughs> that's what you're getting for your dinner, your snot. <laughs> Could you, these are just insults. How could you do that to me? Excuse me, um, Bob, I really, really love it when you talk like that. Oh, right. I'm going to your flat right now. Oh, well, Lorraine, yes. <laughs> oh, well, if it worked for him. Caprice! My God, you stink, you big nose, hunchback, fat assed old cat.
it was very frustrating, wasn't it? That was a very frustrating period indeed, Bob. Very frustrating. It's up in the boat. Stomach. It really does. Vic, I don't know if it's the right moment to ask you, but I've written you a little song. Have you? And I'd like you to hear it, see what you think of it. No, I'm not bothered. It's kind of a tribute to it. It's a nice song. <laughs> oh, well, all right then, I suppose. Well, would you listen to it if I, I suppose give it a go? if I must do it. All right, yeah, have a yeah. listen, see what you think. Here it comes. It's especially for you, all right? Oh, thanks, yeah. Here's to you, may your dreams come true. Make <laughs> another time, never be unkind. <laughs> and all your friends with you till the end. <laughs> to my song, will you sing? A Yes, here's to you. May you <laughs> Will you hear me? Thirty-eight-year-old owner of Barons, Hull's premier nightclub. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, and Paul's working day is just beginning. Right, let's have a look into it. I've just come back from the jewellers now, where I've had this key gold-plated on a chain round my neck, and there it's in sort of some it. Pop it in and open it. Hang on a minute. See if I can get it in there. I think we're in. While Paul acts as the club host, his brother Tony attends to the day-to-day -day management of the club. Welcome to Bowen's Nightclub Administrative <laughs> Centre. I'm Tony Bowen. I was parted from Paul Bowen many years ago and taken to Land of Rising Sun. I was on a sun. I was taken away by a kind of sailor. He treated me well, though. I was not a correspondent over there. A lot of people presume that's how it must have been. I would not correspond. Tonight, it's the first of Paul's erotic reviews, where he hopes to showcase some of Hull's most erotic women. Tonight is erotic night, and I've changed various bits of the decor to give a man erotic ambience. Have a look at this. I've solid tape knickers onto the bottom of the chair. <laughs> Tights hanging from the bar. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I've got pictures of road food, solitaped in various places. <laughs> uh, what's that you got, Rupert? It's a um, uh, black card. A black current being enjoyed by a young lady there. And the centrepiece to my erotic mayhem is one of my barmen, who I've dressed up as the erotic character to lose Lautrec. There he is there, by the Doritos. <laughs> I went mad for three years in Hong Kong. <laughs> now I help Paul to want the club. A groovy business. <laughs> Paul is cool. Paul cool about everything. Anywhere. I help him here. I keep an eye on him. A lot of people ask, is Mika Hakanan from Hong Kong? <laughs> He's not from Hong Kong. He's from Finland. I've created some Baron's cocktails for erotic night. A short, sharp screw against the wall. The hanging bollocks of Babylon. <laughs> simply the breast, which is a lovely blend of vodka with a chicken breast on the edge. Delicious. Cheers. Security is organised by John Fowler, Kinky John. And uh, he has got Carl and Chris, who are the bouncers. All right, Julie, Rupert and Chris. Now, it's a special night tonight, Barons Night Club, because Paul has organised an erotic night. And we're going to need what to know what... <laughs> what is it, Chris? Can I take a couple of weeks off next year to go to the funeral? Whose funeral is it? Your fat mother's? Yeah? She says she'd be dead in the year if I don't behave. Do you want to go at the funeral? No. Not really. Well, don't bother, then. No, I won't. Well, don't, then. Shut up, Rupert. Now, so what are we going to do in the event of a... What is it, Chris? Can I just make sure that you cancel the arrangements for the couple of weeks after to go to the funeral next year? I have done that already. Now, Mr Paul Barron himself... <laughs> Mr. Paul Barron, thank you, Julie. Mr. Paul Barron himself will be on the premises tonight. So puff I want him. Is, you wouldn't say Long head to... puff. Shut it. You wouldn't say it to his face, would you? No, I wouldn't. Well, don't do it here, then. Right. All right. Right. Now, look at the time. We'll have to stop it there. All right. Action stations, everyone. One, two, three. Barron's nightclub is the place to be. All right. Come on, off we go. Right. Is it true you have a conviction for fraud? I've never been convicted for fraud, and whoever's been putting these rooms around will be hung by the neck until dead if I get hold of them. I think they may be referring to the time I spent when I ran a cruise ship which travelled around the Dublin Bay area, and the uh, captain was a monkey. It's 7pm. Happy hour is over and the eroticness is soon to commence. Despite Tony's reservations, Paul is persevering with controversial compare Kinky John Fowler. Hey, hey! Good evening! I am Kinky John. Welcome to Erotic Night. <laughs> All right, okay, let's do the catchphrases. Come on and hit me. Kinky John. All right then. Get your pants off. We humans, not these sex. I was born to run a club like this. Number one. I do not spook easily, and those who think I do are wasting their time with their surprise attacks. <laughs> Number two, women feel comfortable in my presence <laughs> with my tales of sexual experimentation, both on the high seas and on railway property. <laughs> Number three, I am a wizard with star-shaped Chinese weaponry, which I throw accurately and without do forth what. <laughs> Number four, the audience are like ginger in my hands. <laughs> Putty. Tonight is a radic night, we've got a beautiful lady on for you tonight. Ooh. Why are you persevere with Kinky John? I've got serious reservations. The audience have serious reservations, too. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, you've seen her working in Starburger, and tonight you're going to see her burger star. <laughs> he not got a razor-sharp wit. I'll go and get rid of him. No, I'll it. throw him off stage. Tony, Tony, Tony! I Don't be so hasty. Yeah. It's a new brand, come, lad. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll go see which was a waste about this. It's being volatile. I get, get the lady up. Get out. Get out. Here she is tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's sexy Wendy. <laughs> Turn the cards off, Chris. Right, I've chucked her out. I'll tell you, Chris, she's tonight's act. For more? For people to look at her. What for? Get them aroused, you know. For more? <laughs> Next week, Tony and Paul suffer the aftermath of Erotic Night and the council trace an outbreak of salmonella to Paul's frozen chicken breast drink. Welcome to Start with Donald Davies Scott, thank you! Right, right, now, let's see who, oh, let's see who oh, the Scots Oh, it's a special guest this week. Who is it? Underneath the red no kill box. Let's voila! Voila! <laughs> voila! It's Stephen Hill! 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 Right! We're Stephen Hill! Welcome, Damon. Thank you for coming. Right. Now, Damon. Just to liven you up, and ladies and gentlemen, let's have a little explosion. Right. Right. Start off. Nice, <laughs> nice bright explosion. Nice bright explosion. Watch your eyes. Oh, watch out. Woo! Oh, oh, right. <laughs> Everybody likes explosion, dear. The whole life and jumped in. Right. Mr. Hill. I am Superintendent Newspeg of Scotland Yard Bravo. Stop it, David. You are not. I know. Then I did. <laughs> Demo, if you get a bit hungry during the show, I got some bacon in me flask. <laughs> oh, I've got a hanky, don't worry, Mr. Hillary. What what do I find for a lovely suit? No, it's just there, Demo. If you don't want it, then just just brush it into that soapy water for the next guest. <laughs> just brush it in. Right, right. into the soapy water. Well, let's get down to the questions, David. Let's Stark. get over the nitty gritty. Right. Off you go, David Stark. Right, Damon, after a Grand Prix. Do you get out of your car? <laughs> and have a nice relaxing pool. <laughs> well, I generally generally do that before. Uh, right. <laughs> and you go, one more. Right. Dear Mo, is your nose aerodynamic like your car's? <laughs> I'd, I'd say so. Yeah. Right. And was it tested in a wind tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, no. No, right. Chuck in the bacon if you want. Thank you. Right. <laughs> now, we've all heard of Lewinsky, but would you put a cigar up your ass to make you go faster? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one! Uh, I'm sorry, Lord, but you. you should show a bit of respect respectful, Mr. Hill. I will. He's the quickest in the world. You can show a bit of respect talking about his <clears> ass. <throat> I can just cook a backwards. Mr. Hill, when you're going round the circuit, do you have time to check out the fanny that's looking over? <laughs> What's the matter with me? Do you have time to check out the fanny that's looking over the wall? No, not a lot, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> After you've had your supper and said prayers, how long is it before your hand slips down your pyjama buttons? <laughs> I don't wear pyjamas. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah. Oh, right. No! Do you have a map or just follow everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Um, well, at the moment, I tend to follow everyone else. Right. Oh, this is a good one day. Uh, I'm going home now. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Hill, Damon Hill. Thank you very much for being on start. Thank you. Thank you.
good news is that they will be back next Friday a bit earlier than tonight at 930